of others. It's not quite four o'clock, so we will wait until then. Mm -hmm. All right, we are still waiting for one, but we will get started. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 2021 Gray County Council inaugural meeting. My name is Heather Morrison, and I am the clerk for Gray County. And I'm pleased to welcome our Gray County Council to this live stream meeting. I would also like to welcome our senior management staff, led by our CAO, Kim Wingrove, past wardens, and members of the viewing public joining us through our live stream today. I will call this meeting to order and I can confirm that all members of Gray County Council are present except for Councillor Body. I will notify Council when he joins the meeting. This afternoon, Council will elect its 2021 warden. 2020 has been anything but normal for all of us. COVID-19 has made us look at everything in a deeper, more introspective way, focusing on the things that are most precious to us, family, community, and our own health. As we've learned to enjoy the little things, learning more about our own communities and spending time in the beautiful outdoors. Gray County is committed to supporting our residents through these challenging times. The County has stepped up to revise many of its processes so we can continue to provide the excellent customer service we are known for. 
with the support of council, there has been a local focus over the past several years or past several months to showcase Gray County's unique business, businesses and outdoor activities to our residents. We are fortunate to live in an amazing part of the world. This year's inaugural session marks another history making moment. We are holding our first virtual inaugural session via Zoom. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank Rob Hatton, our communications manager for leading the way with Zoom. I couldn't have done it without him. The role of warden is an important one. As the head of council, they will provide leadership for the upcoming year. This will be a vital role as the world continues to shift and change due to the pandemic. Strong and dedicated leadership will see us through the challenges ahead and will set the stage for seizing new opportunities in the coming year. With those thoughts in mind, let's proceed to the election of the warden for Gray County for 2021. I will note that Councillor Body has joined the meeting. We have all members of Gray County Council present for the inaugural session. While the procedures that we will be following are set out in the county's procedural bylaw, a few of the past practices for the inaugural sessions have had to, to shift slightly to accommodate the virtual meeting. A deadline for nominations was set for November 26, 2020 at noon hour. Two nominations were received. I will ask each candidate their intention to run for office. Each nominator of the candidate who will be standing for election will then be entitled to speak in support of their candidate. Each candidate who stands for election may also make a presentation to council. The procedural bylaw limits each nominator and candidate to five minutes. The election of the warden is being done by an anonymous online poll. And in accordance with the Municipal Act, each councillor is entitled to one vote. There will not be any scrutineers for this vote. That provision was waived by County Council, but the candidates are in the council chambers today. And if they choose, they can view the anonymous election results on Mr. Hatton's screen. As there are two councillors running for office, if there is a tie, I will place the names of the candidates on equal sized pieces of paper. I will then select an individual to draw a name out of the ballot box and that person will be declared the warden. That completes the procedures involved in the election of the warden. I do have a motion to elect the warden for a one year term, moved by Councillor Body and seconded by Councillor Mackey. All in favor of that motion? Thank you, that motion is carried unanimously. Nominations in writing for the 2021 Gray County Warden were received for Paul McQueen, moved by Councillor Christine Robinson, seconded by Councillor Shirley Keaveney, and Selwyn Hicks, moved by Councillor Brian Millen, and seconded by Councillor Barb Clumpus. Councillor McQueen, do you wish to have your name stand for the 2021 Gray County Warden? Yes, I will stand for the 2021 Warden. You will just need to unmute yourself. To... Try that again. Yes, I will stand for uh, to run for Warden for the 2021 year. Thank you very much. Councillor Hicks, do you wish to have your name stand for the 2021 Gray County Warden? Yes, I do. Thank you very much. I would now ask the mover for Paul McQueen, Christine Robinson, followed by the seconder, Shirley Keaveney, to provide comments in support of their candidate. Council Robinson. Thank you, uh, Clerk Morrison. Good afternoon, past wardens, distinguished guests, Gray County Council, Gray County staff, family, friends, and colleagues. It is my honor to nominate Paul McQueen, Councillor Paul McQueen, for Warden of Gray County for 2021. The characteristics and qualities of a good leader are reflective of the attributes one must possess to be a good warden. These attributes include integrity, respect, 
excellent listening skills, being a communicator, and having the ability to unify thoughts and ideals in line with Gray County's strategic priorities. We have seen all of these attributes in action and held in high regard over the past year with Paul McQueen. Gray County Council deals with many challenging issues and it is our collective responsibility to represent the best interests of our Gray County residents and business owners. Through the leadership of Paul McQueen, our County Council has accomplished many tangibles which have enhanced the quality of life in Gray County. Integrity and respect. Councillor Paul McQueen always displays and has the ability to be humble when dealing with citizens, staff and colleagues. He is respectful, dedicated and learns from all of the discussions within his position as warden. Paul is an excellent listener he seeks to understand before being understood. This trait allows for excellent debate and information exchanges in his term as warden. Listening is a true art that Paul exhibits. Paul McQueen is also a communicator. As a board member, he has developed positive relationships on external organizations, including the Association of Municipalities of Ontario, the Niagara Escarpment Commission, Gray County Federation of Agriculture, and Georgian College. In addition, he has positive relationships with political representatives at the federal and provincial orders of government. As a unifier, Paul seeks a collaborative approach on issues, build respectful relationships with county councillors and staff is essential in Paul's approach to being a leader. He collaborates and seeks to understand all sides of any issue that may arise. He is a positive, open-minded and approachable warden. In summary, Paul McQueen has demonstrated leadership in his capacity as warden this past year during an unprecedented time of this global pandemic. I am honored to nominate Paul McQueen, Councillor Paul McQueen, to continue to lead us as warden for this coming year. I would ask my colleagues on County Council to vote for Paul McQueen as warden for 2021. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Robinson. Councillor Keaveny. Thank you. Members of County Council, CIO Windgrove, staff, distinguished guests, and all who are listening. It is my absolute honor and pleasure to have been invited to second the nomination for Councillor Paul McQueen to be re-elected for a second term as Warden of Gray County. 2020, as we all know, has been an unusual year. As Warden, Paul has faced many challenges as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. I believe he has demonstrated strong leadership to both Gray County and to each of us as lower tiers as we faced the ever-growing number of difficult decisions before us, from mandatory mask bylaw considerations to in-person or Zoom meetings, from staff redeployments and realignments to budget redirections. The importance of high quality long-term care to keep our elderly safe is as important as ever. We are lucky in Gray County to have had a strong county-wide safe county-run system. To date, not one resident in our county-run homes has died from COVID. Last week, the province announced 62 more beds for Grey Gables. This would not have happened were it not for the leadership of Councillor McQueen, who brought forward the motion to rescind the prior council's decision to sell Grey Gables. This year has been unprecedented. As warden, the prestigious events that occur annually were unavailable for Paul. No warden's breakfast, no warden's forum, no warden's banquet. The highlights that every warden looks forward to. No opportunity to attend in-person conferences other than Roma last January, where Warden Paul hosted a well-attended and well-enjoyed hospitality suite. One of the things I appreciate most about Paul is his enviable skill at communicating. Paul is approachable. He's a great listener, always takes or makes time for conversation, makes anyone feel comfortable and reminds, of, 
reminds us of how we are a team working together, always for the advancement of Gray County. I think his approach of having one-on-ones with each member of council this past December and January was a great way to begin his term. These discussions afforded Paul a broader understanding of the challenges facing each lower tier and provided us the opportunity to speak to the new warden about his intentions for the year. Paul is a relationship builder and that skill is critical in this role. Paul makes an impression and he can attract the attention of provincial and federal politicians when necessary. I am proud of the agricultural roots Paul brings to this position. Agriculture is the main industry of Gabe County and I believe it is a real advantage to have a warden who supports and understands firsthand the needs and challenges of our farmers. This has been evident in his involvement with the Farm Safety Committee, his support of the request from our Federation of Agriculture, and his belief in the need for an agricultural committee for the county. Remember, Councillor McQueen voted in support of the farm tax reduction from 24%, now down to 21.8%. The first commitment made by Paul McQueen in his opening address to us a year ago was to create three committees, the Warden's Committee, Attainable Housing and Climate Change Committees. His vision to have all members of County Council involved in one of these committees. In spite of COVID-19, two of these committees have moved forward and are heading towards meaningful recommendations to County Council. Paul brings tremendous experience to his role through his years as Mayor of Bray Highlands, Deputy Mayor and Councillor as well. Paul understands politics. He is a mentor as well as a colleague. Another quality I really value in Paul is, a per, is his perseverance. Not to embarrass Paul, but he did happen to let his nickname from high school slip in conversation. Percy, so fitting, not taking no for an answer. When Paul believes in something and knows it's right, he doesn't quit no matter the obstacles in his path. Gray Gables and Markdale Hospital being prime examples. This is the determination I support to lead Gray County. I encourage you, my fellow councillors, to join me in supporting Paul McQueen for 2021 Warden of Gray County to lead us past the pandemic and into the bright future that lays ahead for this area as we welcome significant growth and substantial change. Thank you so much. Thank you, Councillor Keaveny. I would now invite the mover of Selwyn Hicks, Councillor Millen, to provide comments, followed by his seconder, Councillor Barb Clumpus. Councillor Millen. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Madam Clerk, County Councillors, County staff, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to speak to the nomination of Selwyn Hicks for Gray County Warden. It has been said that leadership is about getting all the players on the team playing for the name on the front of the jersey, not the one on the back. 2021 will be a pivotal year for Gray County. We need a leader who is a team player committed to Gray County as a whole, clear eyed about the challenges facing us and has the experience to get things done. Buck, as Selwyn likes to be called, is well respected by his peers, both professionally and politically. He is an accomplished lawyer and along with his wife, Barb, who is also a lawyer, operates a law practice with offices in both Hanover and Walkerton. Having served with two royal commissions and many other community government agencies, he knows the importance of considering the views and opinions of a wide variety of stakeholders. His vast professional experience has and will continue to serve Gray County well as we weather the emerging social and financial impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. With his many years of being involved with community social work, Selwyn has developed an extraordinary level of empathy for people and their challenges rarely seen in our leaders. He is a passionate advocate for the disadvantaged. First elected to Hanover Council in 2006, he was re-elected in 2010, then elected deputy mayor in 2014, 2018, and thus to Gray County Council. Buck has become very familiar with making and standing by tough decisions. Both locally in his hometown of Hanover and at Gray County, Selwyn never hesitates to get involved. Indeed, his work with many committees over the years is well regarded. Thoughtful, measured input is Buck's hallmark in my estimation. 
I have served with him on many of those committees, and I can say that he never fails to show up, both literally and figuratively. Well-prepared and well-articulated points of view can always be depended on from Selwyn. Gray County has many important projects currently underway with more on our doorstep. Now, more than ever, we need someone who can get everyone to play for the name on the front of the jersey. That someone is Selwyn Hicks. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Millen. Councillor Klumpus. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Um, past wardens, members of County Council, CAO Kim Wingrove uh, and staff and invited guests. I have the greatest respect for those who allow their names to stand for the position of County Warden. It must be difficult to juggle the many requests for attention beyond those at the municipal level. The responsibility is heavy and the commitment of time is significant. With this in mind, it is truly an honor for me to second the nomination of Selwyn Hicks for warden for the 2021 term of Gray County Council. I recently found a definition of a successful leader that advised that the respect that leadership must have requires that one's ethics be without question. Another suggests that a successful leader will keep a focus on the vision, the common purpose, the big picture, while being flexible enough to changing environments. We were privileged to have Selwyn as our warden for the first year of this term of County Council and the respect he earned then and subsequently as deputy warden confirmed his exceptional ability to balance representing Gray County with provincial ministries while keeping firmly in view the impact and consequences to the whole of Gray County of our deliberations on local needs and issues. The working relationship between councillors around the county table and our professional staff benefited from his open and inquiring mind, his willingness to listen and understand opposing points of view, to ask questions of staff and presenters, and his ability to keep meetings on track while ensuring that all voices have the chance to be heard and respectful discussion. I'm quite sure that Selwyn's formative years growing up in a large immigrant family led by a single mom sowed the seeds of the empathy he exhibits, being consistently concerned with and willing to champion the most vulnerable in our communities. His professional life as a lawyer with the legal experience and knowledge that entails contributes to a communication and leadership style that is inclusive, diplomatic, seasoned, and so very genuine. This is valuable as we forge ahead with affordable housing initiatives, internet connectivity and economic recovery, including the sustainability of our very important agriculture industry. I have no doubt that in the best interests of all of Gray County, he will build on the current momentum to help us grow and prosper. I would suggest that Selwyn embodies the theme of an old African proverb, if you want to go fast, go alone, but if you want to go far, go together. I am so proud to endorse his nomination for warden and encourage our colleagues around the table to do the same. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Klumpus. I would now provide an opportunity for each councillor or candidate to make a presentation to County Council. Councillor McQueen. Thank you, Madam Clerk. County Council, staff, and the viewing public. I've been encouraged by council, or county residents, colleagues, and past wardens to run a second year as warden of Gray County. Once again, I'm asking for your support. I want to continue to represent you as your warden of Gray County in 2021. Gray County runs deep in my veins. Cindy, my wife, 22 years, and I have raised three sons, Matthew, Stephen, and Jacob in this community on our sixth generation McQueen farm. My parents, Doug and Irene McQueen, live on the adjacent farm that my dad still actively works. I am currently serving my second term as mayor of Gray Highlands 
and have served as deputy mayor and counselor and have served on Gray County Council for three terms. Over my years of public service, I have gained a broad range of experiences in municipal and provincial leadership that have served, served me well during my past year, past year as warden. I've been a board member of the Association of Municipalities of Ontario since 2015. I'm currently the chair of County Caucus, which allows me to be on the executive of AMEL and part of the Memorandum of Understanding team that meets with ministers discussing confidential provincial policies and direction. And I will be speaking to one of those ministers this coming Thursday. This is definitely an asset for Gray County. Since 2011, I've been a commissioner on the Niagara Escarpment Commission. In 2015, the Niagara Escarpment plan was up for review. Staff were, considered, staff were considering mapping changes in Gray County. I pushed to have public engagement sessions in Own Sound and other areas to allow Gray County residents to uh, voice their opinion. It was loud. At the end of the day, no expansion of the NEC lands were adopted in Gray County. I am proud to have developed strong relationships with ministers, mayors, wardens across the province and have worked closely with chairs both of Eastern and Western wardens on County Caucus of the Association of Municipalities of Ontario. These relationships and my understanding of complexities of, complexities of municipal provincial relationships will serve Gray County well. This past year has been a challenge as we face the pandemic creating new policies and procedures to ensure our workforce and residents will remain safe. As we move into the new year, we have to continue to lead our communities in the fight against COVID-19, all while providing good governance and policy direction for the corporation of the County of Gray. During the next year, I, <clears throat> during the next year there will be important issues and opportunities that will be required to deal with, including finding solutions for attainable housing, developing a plan to, uh, to expand Rockwood Terrace and Gray Gables long-term care homes, working with the climate change to, uh, task force to look at realistic solutions for Gray County, providing accountability to the people we serve through informed decision-making and ensure council and staff act with integrity and transparency. We need to take a serious look at our road system and work with the provincial government to come up with, the, with solutions for moving people throughout the County of Gray, including highways 10, six and 26. I am proud of my deep roots here in this community and in my service to Gray County for the past 23 years. I'm excited about what the future holds and I truly believe that my strong leadership and experience will serve County well in 2021. I respectfully ask for your support to provide that leadership as your warden. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Clerk. And thank you as well to my nominators, Councillors Mill and Klumpus, for their very kind remarks. You're supposed to start off with a joke, right? So here it goes. Why did the chicken cross the road? Well, because it was a county road, so of course it was safe. Sorry, that's about as good as my jokes get. It would indeed be an honor and a privilege to serve as your warden once again. I believe that my credentials speak for themselves. I'm an early riser with a strong work ethic and I have the capacity to build relationships that promote progress. With a warden Hicks, you have someone who has done the job before successfully and is going to hit the ground running. 102 years ago, that's uh, 1918 to 1920, the world endured four deadly waves of the so-called Spanish flu. Despite being called the Spanish flu, it actually originated in the USA. The flu infected 500 million people, about a third of the world's population at the time. Somewhere between 17 and 100 million people died. <clears throat> when the 1918 pandemic started, the warden of Gray County was interestingly, a man by the name of John A. Boyd from, drumroll, Markdale. Two other wardens uh, during the period of the pandemic were John McQuaker from Owen Sound and Erwin Morrison from Osprey Township, now Gray Highlands. So you see, the point I'm getting at is that the pandemic was clearly the fault of Gray Highlands. Sorry, that was me trying to be funny again. But all joking aside, 
uh, we're halfway through this term and in a flash, we'll be in the lame duck period. That said, we have an opportunity right now to roll up our sleeves and get some things done that will mark our legacy. We, we can be remembered as a council that simply endured COVID-19, or we can be remembered uh, as a council that rose from adversity and made bold moves at a time when others might simply opt for austerity measures. There's no shortage of challenges in our community demanding our time and financial resources. Please allow me to single out two that I would like to see us pay special attention to. The first, is continuing to support the expansion of broad, broadband capacity throughout the rural parts of our county through SWIFT 2.0 fiber projects. Second, and it really should have been first because it's the most important, that is, again, drum roll, affordable housing. Through delegations and, and deliberations at the Hanover Owen Sound Task Force and the Affordable Housing Task Force, we have heard shocking statistics around poverty and the need for affordable housing. We are hearing that far too many in our community are forced to spend 70 to 80% of their income on housing. To use the words of Councillor O'Leary, we've been talking about this issue for years ad nauseum. When are we gonna put our money where our mouth is? Council, as your warden, I will be inviting you to make a bold move on this single issue in the next year. I'm not at all suggesting that we forego other important initiatives and portfolios, but I'm proposing that we make a bold move to invest bigly in the severe shortage of affordable housing. Dr. Phil says the best predictor of future behavior is past conduct. You saw me, you saw in me a warden that is captain of the Gray County cheerleading team. I vacation and recreate in Gray County and talk about it. I promote local businesses and shopping locally. Most importantly, when I sit at this horseshoe, I proudly wear my county hat. My lower tier responsibilities remain there, but when I sit at this table, my priority is the best interests of this great county. We have the absolute best staff in municipal service. As your warden, I will work diligently to provide, to build, excuse me, relationships with our talented staff. They will have my support, my thanks, and most important, my respect. In closing, let me say this. If elected, I will do two things. I will immediately schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings with each and every one of you to build relationships and to determine what you would like to see get accomplished over the next year. I will also immediately reach out to our provincial and federal uh, representatives to schedule a minimum of one formal meeting each quarter to build relationships and plan how we can work together to address important priorities for the people of Gray County. That is my commitment to you, and I ask for your support to serve a second term as warden. Thank you. Sorry. I'm now gonna turn it over to Rob Hatton, who will administer the anonymous online poll for the election of the 2021 warden. Rob. Thank you very much, Heather. Uh, for those of, us view, uh, those of you viewing online today, our process will be that I am going to be launching a poll for county council. So county councillors, you will see the poll pop up live on your screen. We're going to allow two minutes to ensure that uh, there's ample time for votes to be cast by all members. And at that time, uh, I will ensure that we have, have 18 votes cast for every member of council. Uh, and if there are any technical difficulties, uh, you may contact me on my phone and we will sort those out. So with that, I will bring forward the poll.
Okay, one. Um, um, Madam Clerk, if I may, I, I, I wasn't able to select an option. Yes, Rob is going to relaunch okay, the poll. Technical difficulties. Thank you. I also was not able to vote. Uh, it's uh, Councillor Christine Robinson. Thank you, Councillor Robinson. Not able to vote. I don't think Nor anyone was, was either. <laughs> no, I don't think anyone was able to vote. So Rob will relaunch the poll. The poll has been relaunched. If you have any issues, please let me know. I cast my vote, but it said error. Yeah, okay, I will take a look here. Did anyone else on County Council receive an error when casting a vote? All right, we will try this. Um, I will relaunch one more time, uh, Councillor O'Leary, and if that, uh, if we're still having issues, um, I will contact you and we'll cast a vote on your behalf. Yes, everyone, please cast your vote. That worked. Thank you. County Council, we do have 18 votes cast, so I will invite both candidates up to Mr. Hatton's screen should they choose to view the results prior to me announcing that. Councilor McLean has verified the results. I am pleased to confirm that Councilor Hicks has been voted the 2021 Gray County Warden. Congratulations, Warden Hicks. I will now invite Warden Hicks to recite the oath of office that is on his desk. Thank you, Madam Clerk. The declaration of office reads, I, Selwyn Hicks, having been elected or appointed to the office of warden in the County of Gray, do solemnly promise and declare that one, I will truly, faithfully and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. Two, I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. Three, I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. And number four, I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II or the reigning sovereign for the time being. And I make this solemn promise and declaration, conscientiously believing it to be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. Thank you very much. If you would mind signing that, and I will sign that oath of office following the meeting. Thank you. Okay. 
Martin Hicks has signed it. Uh, in accordance with uh, COVID protocols, I'm going to invite Warden Hicks to go to the podium and don, don the chain of office and then assume the virtual chair. Warden Hicks, the chair is yours. Distinguished guests, former wardens, fellow counselors, family, friends, staff, and members of the media. I'm truly humbled to be in this position again and to have the confidence of my colleagues. I will do everything in my power to bring honor to your decision to elect me as your warden for a second time. A year ago, I didn't know what a Zoom meeting was. Zoom was what you did when you adjusted your camera or were running late for a meeting. Today, as in this very minute, my wife is in our car outside, outside the building observing this meeting by Zoom. She told me, by the way, to find my own way home if I didn't win tonight. Everyone in politics knows that if your spouse or partner isn't on board, then you need to get off the ship. Barb, I want to thank you for your support and for your love as I pursue this crazy journey in public service. While I'm at it, I want to extend gratitude to all the other spouses and partners out there who sit in the shadows and share their loved one with the public. I wanna thank Warden McQueen, now past Warden McQueen, his wife and his family for their sacrifice over the last year. Warden McQueen, I know very well what this job entails and the enormous amount of time that it demands. Thank you for your service and thank you for including me, your opponent, in key positions on various committees. We don't always share the same position, but we share a love for our community and a desire to make it better. Next, I extend my gratitude to counselors Brian Milne and Barb Plumpus for nominating me and your words were so kind now, I promised my previous nominators checks, and it worked. So this year, I'll promise the two of you double what my previous nominators received. You're welcome. To my children, Selwyn, Riley, Connor, Chloe, Daddy loves you very much, but he also loves his community. Thank you for sharing. In my closing remarks for 2019, I reflected on our accomplishments. But most of all, I reflected on just how lucky we are to live in the best country in the world, Canada. Gray County is arguably, hands down, one of the finest places to raise a family in this great nation. We have here a delicate blend of nature, industry, and services. I reflect on the preamble to the American Constitution, which talks about, quote, we the people forming a, quote, more perfect union. The suggestion is that what they have is great, but they're going to work to make it better. That said, what we have here in Gray County is amazing, but of course, there's always room for improvement. In my 2019 closing address, I talked about the year being about orientation and renewal as our council, dominated by newly elected representatives, faced a steep learning curve. We are now two years in. 
the honeymoon period is over and it's time to roll up your sleeves and tackle the big issues that will mark our legacy. We recently participated by Zoom in a visioning exercise led by a very skilled moderator. I very much enjoyed that session. It was a session in which we contemplated the philosophical underpinnings that will guide our decisions. As a member of Hanover Own Sound Task Force, as well as the Affordable Housing Task Force, I have been moved deeply by the data that shows how challenging day-to-day -day life is for far too many in our community. The last year has been especially difficult for our poor and marginalized citizens. We know that there are people in Gray County who spend up to 80% of their income on rent. These are people who deserve to live with dignity. They shouldn't have to choose between heating their homes and buying groceries. It has become clear to me that affordable housing has emerged as the number one issue requiring Gray County's attention. We have work to do. Over the next few weeks, I will ask staff to schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings between myself and every county councillor, Deputy Warden McQueen, if you would be willing, and if the other members of the Affordable Housing Task Force agree, I would like you to take over my position as chairman. You placed a great deal of confidence in me, and I would like to do the same for you. Councillor O'Leary, if you would be willing, and if the other members of the Hanover Owen Sound Task Force agree, I would like you to take over my position as chairman. Together, County Council, we are going to knuckle down and commence or complete tangible projects or import, uh, on important matters over the next year. Buckle up, it's going to be a great ride. And together, we're gonna to accomplish great things. To our multi-talented staff led by one of the finest CAOs in the province, I am so amazed at how you've performed over the last year. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have, you have a lot on your plates, but over the next year, you may be asked to do even more as we rebound, rebuild, and return to life with COVID-19 behind us. I want to single out one member of our staff. Now the great one, Wayne Gretzky, once said, I skate to where the puck is going to be. On that note, you may recall exactly one year ago, we heard a presentation from our economic development staff where Philly Markowitz unveiled a brilliant marketing campaign built around one simple word. That word was gather. It was such an inspiring concept, simple yet powerful and transformative. It strikes me that after one year of social isolation, the public will be craving opportunities to gather in the new year once vaccinations are underway. That's where the puck is going to be. The timing for this genius idea couldn't be any better. Philly, I look forward as warden to getting behind this exciting campaign. Perhaps council can receive an update sometime in the new year. In my last inaugural speech, I left you with words from Canadian rock band Rush. Those words were, or are, and the men who hold high places must be the ones who start to mold a new reality closer to the heart. This year, I wanna leave you with words from a British rock band that was popular during my youth, Led Zeppelin. It's from a song called, Good Times, Bad Times. And those words are, in the days of my youth, I was told what it means to be a man. Now I've reached that age, I've tried to do all those things the best I can. Thank you for giving me this honor to serve as warden for one more year. And thank you for listening to me this evening. Warden Hicks, you will be looking for a mover and a seconder to move the adoption of the warden's address and have it engrossed in the minutes. There we go. I see Councillor Patterson with her big smile and uh, Deputy Warden uh, Paul McQueen. Anyone opposed? Seeing none, I will say that that is carried. 
And last and certainly not least, <laughs> uh, motion for adjournment. Councillor Burley, you were so slow. You're usually the first one in there. <laughs> I'm going to go for you anyways. Uh, Councillor Burley and whose other hands do I see here? Uh, Councillor Milne. Anyone opposed? Then that's carried. Mr. Uh, Warden. Yes. I'd just like to take this opportunity to congratulate you as now I'm the past warden. So uh, I look forward to working with you this year and uh, all the great things you're going to do and uh, work together as a team and uh, we'll, we'll uh, make this county even a better place. So congratulations. Thank you very much, Councillor McQueen. Appreciate the words. Thank you, folks. I see a few sort of air claps. <laughs> Thank you. I think that's it, Madam Clerk. Thank it you is. all for joining. Congratulations, Congratulations, Warden Hicks. Congratulations, Thank you. Selwyn. Thank you, folks. Congratulations, Selwyn. Bye, all. Congratulations. Bye, Selwyn. everyone. Bye.